Ike. Ike. Ike and Tina Turner on the telly last night. Did you see them? <laughs> Cinderella! Come here and bring your backside with you. Oh, she's a lazy slut, you know. That's my cousin's stepsister's returning. I think I'll go off and gather some twigs. Remember to boo when they come on. I said to that shop assistant lady, I said, it may look tight to you, love, but to me, it's a perfect fit. You, are you talking about your bra again? Yes, dear. The sheepdog bra by Gusset. <laughs> sheepdog bra? Why is it called a sheepdog bra? Because it rounds them up and heads them in the right direction. <laughs> well, that's nice talk, isn't it? Yes, it is. Nice talk in front of the ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hello, Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hello. My name is Lucretia, and this is my sister, Griselda. Hello, <laughs> we've been sisters. Well, all our lives. All our right? lives, all our lives. All our lives. <laughs> when I was growing up, I wanted to be a supermodel, but I was considered too beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> they particularly liked my smile. <laughs> I, when I was young, I wanted to be a ballerina. That's right, yes. But they said I was too tall. Mm. Yes. <laughs> shame, shame. However, I'm still pretty light on my feet. Well, show them, show them, show right. them, show them. <laughs> now, that's a sight you don't often see. <laughs> Side of a Channel 4 documentary. Oh. <laughs> Girl, come and stand next to me. Come and stand next to me. No, your eyes aren't deceiving you. Not only are we sisters, but we are identical, identical twin sisters. <laughs> Tell them what you mean. Tell them what we mean. Yes, all right. <laughs> oh, which one are you? <laughs> I don't know. Because we're identical. Oh, it's so confusing. <laughs> yes. But one thing about having an identical twin sister is that we have an almost uncanny telepathic understanding, don't we? We do, darling, yes. I only have to think of, of an animal. An animal, yes. And Lucretia knows what animal I'm thinking of. I do, I do. Let's give it yes. a go. Now, I am now thinking of an animal. Is it a horse? No. Is it a dog? No. Is it a cat? No. Is it a duck-billed no. platypus? Is it a cornflake? No. Is it a hippopotamus? Yes! Oh, I don't know how we do it. Thank you, thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you. you Recognise our talents. There's something else we can do. Isn't That's there? right. Yes. And I, I want you to put your knickers on your head. All right. And... Okay. No, no, lovey, not those ones. <laughs> oh, the ones I've bought. I see the ones I've bought. Yes. Now there we are. You will put those on your head. Yes. You see. Now I will hide you. See if you can tell me where I am. All right. Where are you? I'm here. Where are you? Here. Where are you? I'm here. Where are you? They love a bit of bugle, this crowd. <laughs> it's Dandini, valet to Prince Charming. Take your knickers off, dear. It's Dandini. But we haven't been introduced. It oh, seems very forward. This one, dear. Hadn't you <laughs> Hello, big boy. Hello. You look cheeky. Are you cheeky? <laughs> Good morrow, ladies. Oh, dear, does that hurt? Slapping that. There's a lot of sensation in my flesh, but it's of no consequence, my lady. He said, yes, it does. Oh. <laughs> uh, we know what you're thinking. Yes, we know what you're looking at, yes. <laughs> we get this often, you know. You can try and tell us apart. Go on, yes, you can't, can't can you? Try and tell us Go apart. Go on, try and tell us apart. Go on. Is she fractionally taller? You're right, I am. Um, yes, absolutely. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, yes, all right. Can you get on with it? I've got doors to open. Indeed. I bring here the tidings from the Sovereign's firstborn of a soiree this very eve to which eligible maidens are most heartily summoned. 
What's he say? The prince is having a party tonight. Oh, oh we're going to meet the prince. Ah, oh, I can't believe we're going to meet the prince at last. We're going to meet the prince. I've always wanted to meet the prince. I can feel the blood pumping around my body. My heart is booming away. Now is the winter. That... What's that for? Overacting. <laughs> going on? I bring here the tidings from the Sovereign's first ball. Yeah, 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 all right, mate. Uh, apparently the Prince is having a party tonight. Hmm, indeed. That said, I must hie me hence most royally. He's off. Oh, to summon other denizens. Uh, to invite other people. Prithee, what order of maidenhood resides within? How many women live here? Speak normally or I'll chop your head off and stick it on a plinth. Speak normally or... Oh, oh, oh no, no. <laughs> I reside here with my two lovely daughters. <laughs> and they're both available in every sense. Then here are your three invitations. Uh, uh, <clears throat> there are actually four ladies in this household. Nonsense! Cinderella doesn't count. Why not? Because she's an evil toad. She leaves a trail of filth and slime wherever she goes. Yeah, but even so. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's the prince's express wish that all maidens shall attend. Provided they have a posh frock. <laughs> Bill. Mention Cinderella. Yeah, she sure. Hey, hey, I have to put that bugle in my mouth. Well, hello. Well, hello. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Who is this vision of goodliness in a thought-provoking costume? <laughs> well, here's a clue. <laughs> no, I'm not the plumber. <laughs> I am, in fact, the good fairy. <laughs> it's obvious once you know, isn't it? <laughs> now, what this means in modern terms, it means I'm Cinderella's spiritual advisor. It's a kind of cross between the Archbishop of Canterbury and Eileen Drury. <laughs> what I do, you see, I keep an eye on things and let her know if anything untoward is going on, like the onset of dental decay, <laughs> or if she's made a fashion. I said lap dancing, that's where the money is. <laughs> But she wouldn't listen. Now, every time I appear, and there are several times, there's going to be this flash, and I don't want anyone to be alarmed. It's just a kind of sonic boom caused, caused by my re-entering the stratosphere <laughs> from the great behind where I normally reside. <laughs> function here today is to highlight for you all the difference between good and evil. You're going to notice that goodness sometimes needs a helping hand, whereas evil forces are at work. And I don't just mean Leslie Joseph. <laughs> so, that's about the size of it. I'm going to finish now with a poem. <clears throat> You'll see me again, but in disguise. I may be a bat or a swarm of flies. So keep your eyes peeled and stay awake this Panto Cinderella, enjoyable to make. <laughs>